Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Today's video is for you Sportster owners. We're going to talk about this 2006 Sportster. Gentleman heard a noise, and I think he's heard the noise for a long period of time, but he had problems starting, a grinding noise in the primary side. So we brought it in because it wouldn't start anymore, and we started taking it apart, and I want to talk to you about noises in the primary. All right, so this is a 2006 Sportster, and I had a problem with the engagement of this gear and the starter to the clutch basket. Well, we kind of took it apart and found out the reason why. I don't know if the camera can get it, but all these teeth are ground down so much that the starter gear could not turn it until it got to a better place to start. And there's teeth really gone all over the place. So if we would have got to this problem a little bit early, it would be replacing the clutch outer hub and the bearings inside, cleaning everything up and put it together. But this has been going on for some time. How do I know that? Well, one, I've got steel teeth in the inner primary area, all inside here, and a lot right there. So I've got metal that has gone throughout this primary side. So I had to take the rotor out that goes right here with the charging system. And yeah, this thing is full of metal. And it's really hard to clean something like this because the magnets are super strong. They're supposed to work with the stator, which you can see the clearance between this and that has been compromised, so the stator. So I have to replace now the outer clutch, the gear on the starter, the stator, and the rotor, and possibly the primary. I don't know if the camera can get it, but can you see the shiny upper part compared to the bottom? What this has been doing has been grinding in the upper part of the primary. So it started out as a little noise and got worse and worse, has really put a lot of damage on it. Now, once in a while, you may have a grind. I mean, yeah, the teeth on this don't line up with this. So you hear, okay, you know, that's one time and maybe two times, okay? But if it just keeps going, you've really got to stop and find out. Now, I understand maybe the money's not there, all right? Or maybe you don't have a parts person really close to where you're at to get the parts. The least you could do is change your oil so you could see if there's bits of metal coming out of it. And okay, maybe that's too expensive to do. So I'm going to stretch my neck out a little bit and maybe you can do this. With the primary assembled and you have the cover on, what I want you to do is Get your finger here where the drain is. Uh, it's there. Okay. Now, I want you to have your finger ready and with a 5 8 wrench, pull out the drain plug and then put your finger on it real quick. And look, if you've got pieces like that, you've got something seriously wrong. Yes, the primary drain plug will always have a little fuzz to it because we've got gears grinding throughout this thing and we've got primary chain on sprockets and all that so don't be concerned about a little fuzz but when you have chunks like this all right lose a little oil put this back in and bring it to your dealer all right and, and you got to be quick but at least you can get an idea of how serious this problem is personally if you start hearing grinding noises or noises that are really serious in the primary side of your sportster stop all right, it's getting more and more expensive. When we add this, this, the stator, rotor, primary chain, we're up to $1,600, and that's not including the labor. That's just parts. Parts have gotten ridiculous with the older they are. This sports, and here's the worst information about a sports. Sportsters are built fantastic. I love them. But when they went to the cases that are split in the middle, here's the transmission, okay? And when you got metal like this going all over the place, here's your bearings. All right, they're being exposed to the metal, main shaft and the counter shaft. And then down here is where the transmission gets all its oil. 
So it's carrying metal into the transmission. And if this was a motorcycle that we were going to keep forever and ever, it means total disassembly of the motor, splitting the cases to get the transmission out and replace all the bearings inside. We don't know what our customer is going to do with this sad notice and information and all that, but I wanted to share with you, if you hear a noise in this area, a Sportster owner, look into it, take care of it, figure out what's going on. It might be just the primary chain's got a little loose and you need to adjust it up. Or maybe the nut has come a little bit loose on the stator and you're hearing the rotor just kind of back and forth, or the bearings might be bad in it. It could be just something really simple that you could take apart, put a new part in, put it back together again, and save yourself a lot of money. You Sportster owners, listen to your motorcycle. When it says, I need help, listen. I'm Doc Harley. I'll see you next week.